Thank you for joining me for this video exporting data. For Clickware, I'm Bob Cusick. FileMaker Pro allows you to export data into a wide variety of formats for use with other applications. You can even export it to Excel and to PDF very easily and very simply. To get started, come up to the File menu and choose Export Records. You'll see this Export dialog box that will ask you what file format you'd like to export it in. From this list, you can choose Tab Separated, Comma Separated, DBF, Merge, HTML Table. You can export it to its own FileMaker Pro database. You can export it as XML and as two types of Excel documents. We're going to go ahead and export it as Excel. I'm going to call this Contacts. And I've checked the box that says Automatically Open File. I'm going to save it to my desktop and let's click Save. Now I have a couple of other options for Excel. I can name the worksheet. I'll call it contacts, and I do want to use the field names as the first row, so I'm going to use, keep that checkbox at the top checked. Now click continue. Now I have the opportunity to choose which fields I want exported. These are all the fields in the current table, and then this list shows you all of the fields that you're going to export and their order. Now you can drag these around into any order that you want. But I'm going to just leave them in this order because we're going to do it in Excel and it's very easy for me in Excel to change a column order. And then I'm also going to check this checkbox down here at the bottom that says Apply Current Layouts Data Formatting to the Exported Data. This really comes into play more when you're dealing with numbers and when you're dealing with date data. Because the numbers on your FileMaker layout may be formatted as dollars or decimals or percentages and the dates may be actually date time fields that are formatted to just show the month, day, and year. So I'm going to leave that box checked and click Export. Now FileMaker's gone and exported this for me and it's made an Excel spreadsheet and here at the first column it shows me all of the database column names and then I have all of the data in my found set. In this case it was all 500 rows. So let's switch back to FileMaker for a second. We saw how easy it was to go ahead and export to Excel, but there's a couple of other options that are really cool in FileMaker as well. And they're under the Save and Send Records As. Here you can do it directly as Excel and directly as a PDF, and you can also export a special FileMaker database called a Snapshot Link. Snapshot Link will actually make a copy of the file with the current found set only in there, and then you can send it off to another person and they can view exactly what you're viewing at this moment. But because we've already done Excel, let's go ahead and do PDF. Now one thing that you should think about when you export a PDF is which layout you're on and, and how the data looks. Because when you create a PDF, it will create a PDF according to the layout that you're currently on. So in our case, I really don't want to send my friend a big PDF file that will basically look like it does in list view where this is scrolled record after record. That's how it would output if I would just did it straight from this layout. Now the cool thing about FileMaker is you can view your layouts three different ways as a form view, as a list view which is how I'm viewing the data now, and as a third way it's called table view. Table view basically gives you a columnar view of your data, sort of like a spreadsheet. The other thing that you need to think about when you export to PDF is what your page setup is going to look like. So in this case, my page setup is portrait, but I'm going to do mine in landscape, and you can scale the paper size. Now keep in mind that the size of your paper is going to determine how many columns will show up in your PDF. So I've changed my landscape orientation. Now we're ready to go ahead and do our send and save as PDF. So choose PDF, we'll give it a name. I'll call it Contacts PDF again, save it to my desktop. Now we also have options of the records being browsed, or just the current record, or even a blank record. I'm going to choose the records being browsed, and there's options here. So I can go ahead and add PDF options, give it a title, subject, author, I can even add security on it, and the initial view, all of those kinds of things. I'm just going to leave it at the defaults. And now I also want to automatically open up the file so we can see how it's going to look, but I also want to create an email automatically with the file as an attachment, which is a huge time saver. So let's see how that works. I'm going to click Save. 
And so FileMaker has created the PDF for me. Let's resize this a little bit. So here's my PDF in landscape mode. And it goes on and on. And then if I switch over to my mail program, we can see that FileMaker has also created a new blank email message for me with that contacts PDF already attached. Let's close this. And we'll close this. And now we can go ahead and come back to the form view of our data. So to review, you can use the export records command from the file menu to export data in a wide variety of formats for use in other applications. And you can also go ahead and use the send and save as to export right to Excel and right to PDF. Thanks for watching.